Hello and welcome to Logic Bite Size for VIs, a new mini series on the channel that aims to help you get started with a strange logic concept that you might not understand fully. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to load a third party plugin in Logic, such as Complete Control. And that's in fact what we're going to be using today. So let's get started. In this instance, I have the electric piano loaded. So as if you loaded a very fresh Logic project for the first time. Notice the reverb. That is going to become relevant later. Hear that? There's reverb in this. Okay. So let's open the mixer with X. Mixer group. And then interact with it. In mixer group. Interact items, with the mixer. layout area to the right. Mixer layout area. In mixer layout area. Five items. Classic electric piano channel strip group. And interact with the electric piano. Now, word of warning. I'm going to show you how to do this the wrong way first and then the right way. And the reason I'm showing the wrong way first is because most of you if you're new to Logic, will probably do this and not realize it's not necessarily wrong, but not necessarily right either. So let me explain. Well, I'll demonstrate and you'll see. Interact with this. In classic electric. Let's go all the way to the left hand side. VO shift. No, VO FN left arrow. Classic electric piano. And then go to the right until we interact and find the group. In MIDI plug E piano group. E piano group. So we interact with this. In e piano open button. List button. Choose the list button and it's probably going to go a bit crazy. Menu, quick sample. Yes, it did. I'll press left arrow. Menu. It, yours mileage will vary. It shouldn't really do that. It should just go into the menu. Anyway, we need to now find AU instruments. And here is the first thing that you should do carefully. Make sure your quick nav is off, off, because this menu is very long. And if you want to go down it, then you'll be there a long time. However, if quick nav is off, you can go up and find this much faster. Complete consampler, recent, dim, no plugin, vintage elect, or MIDI control defect, or instruments, submenu. So, or instruments is AU instruments. And you heard me pass complete control there. And that is because when you've loaded it the first time, it will be in your recents list. But we're not going to do that this time. We're going to do it the long way around so that you know where to look for your third party plugins. So your screen reader uh, or voice of choice in the case of voiceover, of course, will say either or instruments or AU instruments. So let's use that right arrow here for AU instruments. Or instruments, submenu, uh, music technology, submenu. And I have a ton of third party plugins. We want native instruments. So you've got two ways of getting there. You can press N for native instruments and then press the right arrow or go down. So today we're taking the long way around. We're going to go down to native instruments. Applied to pocket, archer, audio, audio, cherry, date, this, digit, glitch, IK, in isotope, killer, corks, KV, moderate, native, new find, native instruments. There it is, right arrow here. Native instruments, submenu, absence five, submenu. And we'll need to find complete control. Again, you can press K because this menu and all other menus on the Mac will support first letter navigation, but we're doing it the long way to show you how you can get there. Back FM, con con mashing two, massive, sub -menu. I missed it. Mac contact seven, contact five, complete control. There it is, I beg your pardon. Complete control, sub -menu, stereo. I pressed right arrow again, I am pressing enter on stereo. Classic electric piano dialogue, classic electric piano dialogue. And now complete control is loaded. Now I'm going to load a sound because I want to demonstrate why this is the wrong way to load complete control or any third party plugin if you have loaded the electric piano first. So first I don't need this window so I'm going to do command W to get rid of it. Untitled logics, untitled tracks window, lists button. And now we're back in the main project. So let me just go to the browser quickly and switch to FM8 on the user side and load a track or a preset that has no reverb at all. Browser, user. Okay, scrolling down my list Ever of instrument. products. Ever EV vocal phrase healing too. Oops, FM8. There it is. Right. Filter by preset, 3D drums. That's not a good example. There's a good example. Okay, this sound should have no reverb. I didn't ask it to have reverb, but there's still reverb in the patch. Now, for the first probably six months to a year when I started using Logic back in 2016, I was loading products this way. And I just sort of thought that the reverb was part and parcel and you couldn't get rid of it, but I was wrong. So I told you the reverb would be important earlier in the video. Why is the reverb important? Because when you use the electric roads that comes with Logic by default, there is a bus associated with a reverb. And if we look around the mixer, I'll stop interacting. Out of mixer, layout area. Mixer, layout area. Here we are. And in mixer, let go back in there. I'm just showing where we are. And if I go to the right here, small room slash 0.4 S snare chamber channel strip group. That is a bus. Large hall slash 3.9 S Prince Hall 1 channel strip group. And that is also a bus. Now, don't worry if you don't know what that term means at this time. If you're one of my students, we will cover it. And if you're not, then please look it up. It's outside the scope of this video. But suffice to say, this bus contains a reverb that we do not want. 
How do we get rid of it? Well, there's two ways. That's why I said it's the right way or the wrong way. Here's the easiest way if you've already got a sound that you're happy with and you don't want to set it up from scratch. We need to find the electric piano uh, track again. Classic electric piano channel and interact group. with this. In classic electric. And then we're looking for two sends. And the send is where your reverb is actually coming from. So you're sending your sound, this sound, to the reverb bus right now, which is not what you want. So we need to go find that and do something about it. So mute zero signal volume zero automate group pop stereo out send button minus twenty eight plus three group. So here we go. Minus twenty plus three group. There's bus three. Minus twenty eight point zero. And it's currently set at minus twenty eight point zero. So that's minus twenty eight dB. Okay. So I didn't know this for a long time. There's also another bus. Bus semicolon infinite. Send which is set to infinite. Bus two group. And it's bus two. So. We can get rid of these buses by interacting with them. In bus two, group list button. And choosing list. Menu. And then going down to no send or pressing N. So I'm going to press N. No send. And press enter. List button. That's one gone, but that's not the one with the reverb on it. The reverb is still here. Classic electric piano. Solo off switch. So I need to do the same again. Mute. Sick. Voxy. Automate. Group. Stereo. Send button. Minus 20. Bus three. Group. In bus. List button. Menu. No send. No send. List button. The bus. And the reverb is now gone. Now that's a long way around of doing this. So what I'm gonna do is make a brand new channel strip with command option S. And there's the roads again that we had earlier. Okay, that's all well and good. So now I'm gonna show you the right way and the quicker way to do this. There are actually two quick ways to do this, but we're only gonna cover one in this video. In the next video, I may cover uh, an even quicker, quicker way. All right, so here we go. If you're using the Viologic key map, which if you're my student, you will be, then the easiest way to do this would be to do control shift Z at this point to zero out the channel strip. And when you do that, and I'll explain the hardware as well in a minute, that will take off any plugins and sends. So that means your channel strip will be completely bare. Now I'm not gonna press that in this instance. I'm gonna show you how to find it from the mixer because if you don't have that bound in your key map, that's not gonna be of any use to you. Okay, so here we go. Small room slash the classic electric piano channel strip group. There's now two of these. Classic electric piano channel strip group. Okay, so that's number one. Classic electric piano channel strip group. And I'll quickly rename this to complete. Shift enter. Classic electric piano selection complete. replaced. Complete. Okay. There we go. So now we have a differentiation between the two. Tracks time ruler timeline. Uh, I've moved, so I'll go back into the mixer. It seems to have mixer, layout, moved me. In mi complete channel strip group. Okay, so there we go. Classic electric piano channel. That's the first one that we removed the reverb from. Complete. And this is the new one which is still the electric piano. So let's go into the mixer here and to the very first thing in the mixer with again, VOFN left arrow. Incomplete channel classic electric piano button. VO space on here because this is what we need to look for. Menu. In here should be something called reset. Bypass all, remove bypass, remove empty, in, remove all effect, remove all sense. Reset channel strip, control shift Z. Notice reset channel strip, control shift Z. I'm pressing enter here. Mixer layout. The channel strip is now dead. When I play my keyboard, no sound. Okay, so now we must load complete control again. Small rooms, complete channel, incomplete setting, but... Now, I'll do it a quicker way this time, because remember I said before that it would be in your most recent list of plugins? Well, now it is. So let's show you how to do that. Game off, MIDI play, inst button. Menu tick, no plugin. I pressed VO space on the inst button, and this time I can simply press K. Complete control, submenu. And enter. Complete control, ticked. Complete, complete dialogue. And complete control is now loaded. That was easy, wasn't it? So when you've loaded this plugin or any plugin and it's within your 10 most recently used plugins, it will be in this list at the top. So you don't have to go all the way back to AU Instruments and find the third party vendor and what have you. So nice, quick, easy fix. Untitled. I'm closing the window with Command W and I'm going to go back to that FM8 preset just to show you that the reverb is gone from the outset instead of having to do it later. Browser. Factory. Oh, wrong side. User. There we go. Scroll down to FM8. Battery. DB minus 33. Ever, EV, true, ever, EV, vocal phrase, ethnic percussion. FM8. There we go. Analog 2. All right. No reverb. Notice? It's not there. And that is because we zeroed out the channel strip Zero. ahead of time. Don't talk. I'm talking. And because we did that, it's no hassle. So this is a quick way of getting your third party uh, plugin loaded in Logic in hopefully a timely manner. So the, the aim of this video is, is to cover easy slash hopefully easy topics in under 10 minutes. I won't know if this is under 10 minutes until I stop recording, but I hope so. 
So that's how this format will be going forward. I try to release a couple of these when I can. If you have any ideas for things you'd like to see in this quick bite-sized tutorial form, leave them in the comments or message me privately. You know how to find me and I will try to do them because I wanted to make this quick and easy to uh, get going with. All right, that's your lot. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.